Hey guys, in this Spark AR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a floating head effect like this. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create a floating head filter here in the Spark AR Studio. The first thing we have to do is to import some assets from the AR library. So we go to the left hand side and click here on the AR library icon. When this is open, we search for the first asset and this is our head occluder. So just search for it and then you will find this head occluder block. Just click on it and then import it for free. So after we see this in our asset panel, we can search for the next asset we need to create this filter. So now we need a texture projection patch so just search for it and then you will find this batch asset here also import it for free when we have imported those two assets we can close our ar library and now we can start building the filter here in the spark ar studio the first thing i will do is to create a background so for this i go to to my scene then click on the plus and then create a rectangle when the rectangle is created, we can see it in the left upper side. Then just click on your rectangle in your scene, go to the right hand side and here set the width and height to fill. So click in this field and then select fill width and also do the same for the height. When we have done this, we can create a material for our background. So I go to the assets panel, click on the plus and here select material. I will rename this material to BG for background. Then I select the material, go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat, go down to diffuse and I select a color. Um, yeah, I will just select red as my color. Of course, you can also use a texture here when you want to use a background image. Now I go to the left hand side to my scene, select the rectangle, go again to the right hand side and set the material for this rectangle. So now we have a red rectangle, um, which is covering all our screen. So the next step is that we um, yeah, insert our head occluder to our scene. So just go to the assets panel and drag and drop the head occluder into the scene. So now nothing has changed in our scene. As you can see here, the yeah, head occluder is inserted in our viewport, but it doesn't change anything here at <clears throat> yeah, our preview. So make sure your head occluder is above your canvas in your scene. When you have done this, you can already see um, yeah, a moving head um, in your scene, but there is one problem because when I go back a little bit, I am disappearing again. But this is not the outcome that we want. So yeah, let's fix this. We have to fix this in the head occluder block itself. So we have to open our head occluder block. For this, we go to the assets panel and then double click on the head occluder block. Most of the time you have to update this block, so just click on update. So now we are inside of the head occluder block and here we have to do um, some changes because we want to use our camera texture as the material for the head occluder. For this, um, yeah, we go to the assets panel here in our occlu occluder block, click on it, go to the right hand side and here next to texture, click on the little arrow. Now we can see the material of the occluder material here in our patch editor. Then we also have to change the opacity of this material. At the moment it is set to one, but we want it to have it at 100%. Now the occluder is um, white, that's, that's okay. And now we need a new input for our block. For this, we go to the left hand side to the scene, to the block root click on it, then go to the right hand side and here at edit, click on block properties. Click on it and this window will open and here we have to add a new input. So we click on it, then there is a new block input and I will rename this block input to texture. And then for the type, I will set the type of course also to texture. After we have added the property, we can now 
um, search here at the patch editor for the block root and we can see there is a new output, the texture output. Now we connect the block root, the texture output with the diffuse texture input of our occluder material. So now when we have done this, it is very important that you save this project. So you can do this with command S on a Mac or you go to file and then you go to save. So when you have saved this project, we can go back to our filter window. So now the face has disappeared, but yeah, let's change this. So I will open my patch editor and now we um, yeah, start some programming here. The first thing is that I drag and drop the texture UV projection patch into my patch editor. So now I can see this orange patch. Um, yeah, the next step is that we need an input texture for this patch and this will be our camera texture. To get the camera texture, we go to the scene, click on the camera and then go to the right hand side and here click on texture extraction to the little plus next to it. Then we can see our camera texture in our asset panel and now just drag and drop it also into the patch editor. So now we can just connect the RGBA output to the input texture. And now we need also to connect the output of the texture UV projection to some patch. For this, we go to our scene and here we click on the head occluder block. And because we have created a new input, we can see on the right hand side under inputs our texture input. Here also click on the little arrow next to it and then um, you should see a yellow patch in your patch editor. Now just connect the output of the texture projection patch to the input of the head occluder material patch. And now my face is back and yeah. But we also facing the same problem as before that when we go back a little bit, yeah, we are not seeing the face anymore because we are disappearing um, yeah, behind our rectangle. This, is, uh, uh, this can be fixed very fast. So for this, we go to the assets panel to our background material, select it, go to the right hand side. And then here you can see advanced render options. Open this and then just disable use dev test and also write to dev. Now um, the head is gone again. So to fix this, we go to our scene and then we make sure that the head occluder is underneath our canvas object in the scene. And now, yeah, we have a floating head filter. And now I will fix some minor issues. For example, when I look to the right or to the left, um, there is not only the head visible, there is also um, yeah, some background still visible. Um, we can fix this a little bit, so let's do this. For this, we go again to our scene because we also need the texture extraction of the um, person segmentation. So for this, go to the scene, click on the camera, again, go to the right hand side, and here you can find segmentation. Click on the plus and here select person. Now we can find a segmentation mask texture in our assets panel and now we can just drag and drop this in our patch editor. Now we need another patch, so add a new patch and here search for the mix patch. So now we can connect the mix patch so the RGBA output of our segmentation mask texture goes into the first input of the mix patch and the RGBA output of our camera texture goes to the second input of the mix patch. Then we also have to connect something to the alpha input and for this we go with the A output of the segmentation mask texture. When we have done this we can select the output of the mix patch with the input texture of our texture projection patch. And now when we have done this, this issue is a little bit um, fixed. So and now you can um, play around with the settings from the segmentation mask texture. So just click on it, go to the right side and here you can set the edge softness and also the mask size. So yeah, just play around until you like it. 
and then you have successfully created a floating head effect here in the Spaghi R Studio. Of course, now you can attach something here to the head, um, which is floating with the head and make some funny filters. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.